Hello, Oil World. Welcome to DIY, DIY Tuesday here at Oil Life. Sorry for stuttering over that. Again, it's DIY Tuesday. We're going to talk about sunshine and essential oils today, and we're so excited to be here. It's pretty warm right now in this kitchen, um, and it's warm outside. We know that. Um, but we're going to talk about a little bit about essential oils and how to use them in the sunshine. So today, I'm Emily. I'm Sandy. I'm from the Mesa Oil Life store down in Arizona. Yeah, so we do have a store location in Arizona if you live out that way right. or in that southwest region. Um, and it's closer than coming to the Utah store. Um, and it's kind of cool that she's here today. Yeah. Um, she's just here on a trip. Um, and so it's cool that she's here and bringing kind of that heat with us. <laughs> How hot is it there in Arizona? It's been about 120. Yeah, so perfect timing that we're talking about sunshine and essential yes. oils and Sandy could yes. be here to be with us. So we're going to start with some announcements. Um, first, we are doing a giveaway today. Um, since it is about sunshine and essential oils, we're giving away these two um, neoprene sleeved glass water bottles. Um, so the sleeve helps keep your beverage cool. The glass is perfect um, for all those concerns you might have with drinking water out of other items and also essential oil friendly. Um, so we'll be giving two of those away. The way to enter is to comment. So if you know someone who might be interested in this topic or interested in those bottles, Give them a tag in the comments below and also make sure you're commenting. We're going to be asking questions throughout just like we've done in some previous videos. So make sure you're listening for those and answering those questions for a chance to win one of these two water bottles. And let me say, besides being really nice and they do keep it cold, they're just darn cute. Yeah, they are adorable. <laughs> they're really cute. So. They really are adorable. You are. Um, so yeah, so make sure you're commenting. Our first question for that is, what is your go-to um, sun protection? Um, regimen. So in the summer, what do you do to make sure that you're protecting yourself and your family from the sun? Um, so that's the first question. Let's see what you guys got for us in the comments. That This giveaway will be going for 24 hours, so the next 24 hours, um, as people watch the video, make sure that you're commenting and entering um, because it will close tomorrow at 2 p.m. and we'll pick some winners. Um, also, for 24 hours, we're going to be doing a sell on our DIY kit. Um, for those who don't know what that is, it's a digital download that you buy at oillife.com. It's usually $4.99, so it will be about $2.50 with our 24-hour sell, 50% off. And it's, it's a class kit that includes um, a, around 12 to 15 recipes, depending on the season, um, table tents, um, some gift boxes, a shopping list. So it's all right there. It tells you exactly what you need as far as all the raw ingredients, all the bottles. Um, and it's just really cute. I it just is. love this. It also includes the stickers for all of the bottles, um, and those can also be found in our lookbook. <laughs> um, so the DIY download or the DIY kit download, you would print those out yourself on sticker paper. Um, but if you wanted them already pre-printed, you could also buy the summer lookbook as a companion, or buy ten of them if you're doing a class, and so all of your yeah. class would get one. Um, which brings me to the last announcement, and I know I've done this multiple times. But it's so fun seeing you guys share, and we love seeing it, and we've been seeing people use our hash the hashtags. So just a reminder that we do feature people, um, particularly on Instagram, but there was a comment last week, and I want to clarify. We will take posts Facebook. from both Facebook and Twitter as well. So if those are your go-to platforms, post on them and hashtag and, ta and tag us or mention us depending on what the platform calls it. Right. Um, so yeah, so make sure you're mentioning or tagging us and then also using the hashtags, hashtag summer of sharing and hashtag summer of success to, to just share with us how you're sharing essential oils, sharing our products, and also being successful with essential oils and with your business and with our products. And we will include them in our autumn lookbook. Um, so that's a great, just a great feature. And it's kind of fun to see um, your photo there. We also have some other marketing media, maybe at convention, different things that we're going to be doing with those posts, um, those photos. So make sure you're using all of our hashtags so we can find you and include you in those fun, fun things that we're doing. Um, so yeah, so let's get started with sunshine and essential oils. oils. So the first thing we're going to talk about, um, just as a disclaimer of sorts, we all know about the photosensitive oils. Right. If you don't know about them, generally it's the citrus oils. The citrus oils. And you can definitely ask your upline, go to your essential oil provider. There's all the websites out there have a list of them. So they're easy to find. Um, but just be aware that there are some photosensitive oils. They will um, cause you to burn worse right. yes. if applied to your skin. Um, so those, again, those are mostly the citrus, the citrus. oils. 
Um, so just be aware of that. A little, just for your information, the new red mandarin. Yeah. Does not. Which is cool. Make the you one, burn. The one and only citrus. The one and only <laughs> citrus that doesn't. And it smells great. Oh, I like wonderful. that one. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do two recipes for you today. We're going to do an uh, after sun spray and we're going to do a cooling spray um, for o overheating. Um, but I wanted to mention a couple because I know the sunscreen is super popular. Um, we've done that one before and so if you're interested in a summer, uh, summer sunscreen DIY, um, if you can go to our Facebook and find it on the videos tab, you can also find it on the photos tab. We have a photo image of the recipe as well and it's also on our blog. So you can find it all those places. If you're also interested um, and you've You've already purchased or you will be purchasing, purchasing the DIY kit. There is also a sunscreen in there. That's actually where this sticker comes from. It's part of, um, out of the, the summer lookbook. So that's in there. And then also I wanted to highlight, this is also in the DIY kit um, that you can get 50% off for the next 24 hours. And it's a sun relief gel. Um, and so that recipe is in there as well. Um, so that's two other recipes that you can look up and find. Again, the sunscreen's all over the place, blog, Facebook, um, and it video works wonderful. And image. It yeah, works it's really good. Really nice. And then this one, the sun relief, is just in the DIY kit. Um, so yeah. So now we're going to start with the cooling spray. Um, and before I do that, I have a question for you guys. I want to know how hot it is where you are. So when I just went to lunch, my car was clocking 100 degrees outside. You know what? And 100 here is worse than 110 in Arizona for some reason. You think so? I do. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's good to know. I always thought 120 would be horrible. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so know that it's not, it's not as bad as here. No. That's what you're saying. I can handle it. It's different. 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 It's different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell this one funny story. So I lived in Arizona for a bit. And one time I left gummy bears in my car oh, in the summer. I can already see where this is going. They were liquefied. <laughs> That's 120 <laughs> degrees in your car. Well, I mean, it's more in your car, but yeah. yeah. Leave, don't leave anything in your car if you're going to Arizona. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's make this um, uh, sun protection. Not sun protection. Heat Overheat. Overheat spray. Let's do that one. <laughs> yeah, overheat spray. Um, again, make sure you're sharing with us where you are at and the temperature there. Um, now, can I do this? You see how pretty this bottle is? <laughs> Doesn't it just say cool? It does. Doesn't it just say, I'm not overheated anymore? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Okay, so um, we are going to add, for this blend, we're going to add 12 drops of eucalyptus. While she's adding those, I, I kind of looked at the recipe and I didn't realize that eucalyptus when we looked up in the book, was a cooling and bot lowering body right, it's temperature. Right, for heat sensitivity, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Which applies. Yeah, I was really surprised. Yeah. And I love the smell of it, so that's great. Me too. Oh. It's one of my favorite smells, actually. Um, and then we're going to add nine drops of spearmint. And I'll, I'll mention, too, as we were looking at these recipes, um, it's hard to count the drops and, and talk. talk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> nine drops. So as we were um, looking for, that smells really good. I love as we were spirit. going over these recipes, like most um, cooling sprays just use peppermint, which is going to be our last oil that we put in there. Um, and then so as she was saying, she was interested to see that eucalyptus was in there. Why? Yeah. But we were discussing like how that might be beneficial. Um, and so some people have sensitivity to, to peppermint. Is that right? Yeah. Or so you just don't maybe like the cooling sensation. The way it feels. Right. And so adding these other two heat, sensitivity, cooling, oils will kind of help yeah. um, reduce the peppermint. And, you know, adding the spearmint makes it smell so I wonderful. Like spearmint. <laughs> that's, I think that's... And it's nice to learn. Practice. I didn't know that about those two other oils, the eucalyptus and the spearmint, and it's nice to always learn. So not only do you get to make neat things, but you learn about your oils while you're doing them, which is really important. Right? Yeah. Love that. So I just added nine drops of peppermint, and now I'm going to pour some water in there. The recipe asks for distilled water, so I'm just pouring this right out of the bottle instead of getting it from the tap. And I know you guys are used to a comedy show, but since her comedy partner is not here today, I'm not just quite that funny, so... <laughs> well, we can talk about that, so 
Um, I was going to do like an extra, extra entry, but let's do this. If you can tell us your best either summer joke or essential oil joke in the comments below, you'll be oh, entered to win be fun. a $10 yeah. off a $100 purchase wow. coupon. So let us see your jokes about summer or essential oils. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. By the way, we're not bringing the comedy you guys are, right? <laughs> sounds good. Okay, so I just filled that to the top with water, and we'll just put that back in. Then it says to shake it well, and then it also mentions to shake it before every use. So that'll just help the oils. I love that bottle. I Isn't it beautiful, especially now bottle. with the bottle, or with the bubbles, with the oils, I guess, they're not bubbles, the oils kind of going throughout the water. Beautiful. So we do sell this at oillife.com. It's called our Blue Lagoon Ombre. Ooh. Um, and I was also going to mention, so I've um, suffered uh, from heat exhaustion. I don't know if it would, I would go far, so far as to say it was heat stroke, but when I was 12, I went on a hike and I got pretty overheated to the point that I was really sick and throwing up. And um, ever since then, I've been super heat sensitive. And so I've never used a spray like this, and so I'm excited yeah. to try it. Now knowing that I could go out in the heat, and if I do start feeling that way, I could spray this on and, and feel better. Um, as well as some other precautions okay. that I take. But I found this downstairs. Ooh, for in your so purse. So I would carry this in my little purse yeah. bag um, to bring with me if I was going out in the heat. This is our half ounce um, version of this bottle. So we have it in half ounce, one ounce, two ounce, and then this is our four ounce. Um, and so, yes, we have these beautiful ombres. So yeah, I'm excited to fill this and kind of uh, make the ratios different to fit this bottle. So. You know, we had that. talked about the, the sensitivity to heat, mm -hmm. and I have had heat stroke that we talked about. Oh, and yeah. So I was we going. Put this on us. Yeah. Oh, well. You can tell our story, and then. Yeah. So I said, oh, great. I can even spray it in my mouth. And we both went, oh, can eucalyptus go oh, internal? Yeah, internal? And we went and searched, and yes, every one of these oils are safe internally. Um, but I found the back of the neck. And your pulse points, or some people call them perfume points. Mm -hmm. I don't know if people wear perfume anymore, but you know. The bottom of your feet, if you're really, really getting overheated, the top of your head is one of the very best. Yeah. And I wouldn't bother chugging down a little bit of this if I was really getting sick. And you sick said you have had heat stroke, stroke. And, mm -hmm. and now you are sensitive, I'm real to, sensitive heat to the heat exhaustion as well. Yeah. And then you said if you put it on your feet and the top of your head, it, it like cools you just whoosh, whoosh, like really coolness nice. to yeah. your whole body. So, yeah. Yeah. so a lot of places and, and ways to use this. Awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, so before we go to our next recipe, I'm going to put one more question out there. So these three bottles, can you guys see these? So these are our ombre. I'll tell you one secret. So we've been out of the roller bottles for a while. They are coming back soon. They're coming back in these three variations and three more. So mm -hmm. be super excited <laughs> about that. I'm excited, I'm excited about that. that. Yes. Yeah. So and I know a lot of you have been waiting a really long time for that. So, but the question that I'm come, I have for you: These three bottles were recently featured oh. in a summer publication. So, if you guys know what publication that these three bottles were featured in, it's not mm -hmm. ours. Mm -hmm. So, and we're not going to tell you what it is, but if you know, if you've seen them recently in an inside spread of a publication, um, comment below. That'll also enter you to win a $10 off ombre bottles in a publication recently. Tell us below what, what publication that was. I was pretty stoked to see it in there. And I didn't know it was there yeah. until she showed me and I was listening. Went, wow, that's, that's neat. It so. was pretty cool. So let us know if you know what that is. Um, now we're going to make a after sun spray. Yeah, this is like after you've been out and either your skin is just really dry or maybe you've changed to a really pretty pink or a red color. And you just need to calm down your skin and take care of it. Um, we're going to start out with a half a cup oops, of witch hazel. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of aloe vera gel. And, and she this, put some of it in there already. I already put some <laughs> in because we only found a half a tablespoon. I didn't want to do it so many times on. So you're just going to add the last half I'm tablespoon? I'm just going to add the last half tablespoon. Um, and the reason we're putting it in the bowl is before it goes into the bottle, you want to make sure the aloe vera gel some on the side there. And uh, 
It was clear. I wanted to help her out in case she <laughs> couldn't see on the side. I have my wall. glasses on. She knows. <laughs> yeah. So you just want to make sure it's mixed up really good. Um, I probably at home would use a little mini whisk, actually, instead yeah. of my measuring spoon. But I love mini whisks. They make me happy. They, they make, make you happy? They make you happy. Like, because they're, they're miniature. They're cute. Like, they're miniature really cute. things make people happy, I feel like. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, we call them cute. Now, in the recipe, it says to go ahead and add your oils in. I like to make sure I'm conserving my oils. So I'm going to actually put the oils straight in here so they don't stick to the side of, of the bowl or whatever I'm using. Yeah. Um, and we decided, well, actually. Yeah, you're going to talk about actually, the Actually, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, here we are. Burning. Burning. Fire. Burning on <laughs> fire. Now, after we use this, we're going to go we're going to be purple, cool, purple, cold, chill. chill, just feeling really good. Complete right? relief from the sun. So, so we um, purposefully picked out these colors for these reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, actually I think I'm going to put my oils in first so right. I don't run out of space. We're going to do 10 drops of lavender. Oh, and look at this. Isn't this cool? You want to hold the bottle up for a minute? We're doing lavender and helichrysum. And once again, if you wonder why, they match the bottles. Yeah, yeah. We didn't put on that. We noticed it when we were setting up our... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And once again, I questioned helichrysum. Oh, go read about it. It is one of the best you can do for your skin. Yeah. Um, so we're going to put in 10 drops of, of each of these. This is the lavender. And so it's also interesting when we were researching, because we were curious about the helichrysum in the recipe, mm -hmm. um, we found another recipe that had melaleuca and chamomile. Yeah. Um, with the lavender. So there are a variety of oils. Um, if you look in the, the Essential Life book and kind of start looking at oils that help with skin um, and sun relief, there's right. a few different that you and can And this play is with. the helichrysum. It's the same amount, 10 drops also. I love helichrysum. It is hard to talk and count, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm just watching you. I'm not feeling in the, in the silence. Okay. Sorry, guys. Two, three. Um, I just... Oh, it doesn't oh, quite do you want me to fit. Hold it? Yeah, you hold it. Okay. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> this might be comic relief right here. Let's watch it fill up. Oh, look at my gel didn't really. It's getting on my fingers. Oh, no. That's okay. It'll wash off. It's all good product. Yeah, it's all natural. Yeah. Aloe vera. So, and once again, you know what? The way that turned out, I would do a whisk. I do a little mini whisk at home. To make sure the aloe vera gel gets really yeah. um, whipped in there. Yeah, and once again, it's um, you really want to mix it up. But um, sure the gel and the oils are all intermixed yeah. with the witch hazel. And use it each time. And this is is safe enough that, that little kids, big kids, old people, you can just put it right on them to really soothe their skin. And what I was reading is this could be a really just nice one just to, to just any time, even like if you're not been out in it, just yeah. for making your skin feel awesome. Yeah. So I was really excited to learn that about the helichrysum. Um, so Very cool. there we go. Nice and pretty. So we have a question with this one. Okay. Should we ask about their sunburns? Sure. Do you remember your last sunburn? No, I don't go out in the sun. No, I do. I was at the beach in June. And this last June? Yeah, for seven days with my, my kids and grandkids. Got 13 of the grandkids. And I stayed out on the beach a little bit too long. And I thought, well, I'll go home, back to the beach house, and just, you know, lay down and read. Well, I laid down in the sun and read. Uh, don't, yeah, anyhow. I got pretty sunburned. <laughs> and I wished I would have known about this. Um, so that was my last sunburn. Yeah, so we want to know about your last sunburn. So tell us when you had your last sunburn in the comments below. Um, for extra entry, don't just tell us when it happened. Um, tell us um, if you used essential oils to help you with the sunburn relief right. and what uh, recipes or just straight oils you used um, to deal with that. Yeah, um, yeah so oh, I forgot something yeah. really important. Let's see um, when you're spraying this on, be careful of the eyes. Yes. In fact, if it's somebody who really maybe can't keep their eyes closed really good, you might want to spray it in your hand and then, and rub, then rub, it. rub it around their yeah. eyes. And it can be a little bit sticky or tacky to begin with, but that does go away really quick. Yeah. Just and so you, if you make it up, you go, ooh, well, just wait 
you know, just a teeny bit and it won't. It'll soak in and it it'll won't be sticky. It'll soak in and it won't be sticky And also with essential oils, a little goes a long way. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's also important to remember when you're right. applying it, especially to your face because it will run off into your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so that's what we have for you today. Again, remember um, to go back and watch the video. Make sure you've answered all those questions. Um, also share any other comments um, or questions you have about these recipes or about uh, sunshine and essential oils to make sure that you're entering to win one of these two awesome and cute cute adorable <laughs> um but not as cute as this no maybe no no yeah i don't know I don't a mini know. whisk they're a mini different. bottle they're different cute yeah they're different, different cute you, you like to say things are different <laughs> this is different okay so yeah this is what you're entering to win these glass um bottles with a neoprene sleeve to keep your beverage cool and also your water safe and you are, it's okay to use essential oils in here um, because it is glass. So make sure that you're commenting, sharing the video so other people can enter and comment. Um, also a reminder that for the next 24 hours, our summer DIY kit will be 50% off. That's $4.99 normally, it's now $2.50. Make sure you're pur purchasing that. There's a lot of amazing summer recipes in there. Um, make sure that when you order that, you also get a lookbook. Oh, I love the lookbook. Um, so that you can get these awesome stickers. Also, make sure you're hashtagging and sharing your photos, tagging us in the photos on Facebook. Everyone out there watching this video is on Facebook, so don't forget we are taking photos from Facebook, um, and we will reshare your posts if we think they're they're um, pertinent enough. Like. We, had, we did a donut diffuser blend right. um, about a month ago, and we had a fan actually make a kind of fun it's really graphic cute. Yeah, it was. Um, with our recipe on it, and so we reshared that. So definitely Facebook. We are watching your posts on Facebook. Don't feel left out. We, we, we will reshare them. Um, we will take them and put them in um, our lookbook. So again, the two hashtags that we're really following this summer are um, hashtag summer of sharing and hashtag summer of success. You can also always hashtag oil life. Mm -hmm. And if you are taking book photos or mentioning this awesome book back here, I know it's far away, you can't see it. That is The Essential Life. Um, hashtag The Essential Life. So right. make sure you're using those four hashtags this summer. Um, and when possible, mentioning and tagging us. So that way Can they hashtag up. Mesa oil life to really another, sure. another little you, word for it? Because no, so many people great. don't know we're there. If you guys are local, um, in Arizona, uh -huh. or yeah, if you're in Arizona, hashtag Mesa Oil Life. Mesa so hashtag oil life. Mesa Oil Life, and we'll be looking for those too, yeah. and then we can feature some specifically for that store um, because it is there. You guys should take advantage of it if you don't know, um, because it's. I think it's awesome to come into a store. Sometimes it is. we do everything online, and sometimes it's just nice to come into a store and talk to people about the product. Um, so yeah, so remember that, and. We talked about the sale, we talked about the hashtags, we talked about the giveaway. Remember giveaway. the giveaway bottles? And oh, July 27th, that's the last night. Ice cream social. So we're having our ice cream social. We have some speakers lined up for you. It's going to be a little bit different than we've done in the past, so it's only going to be an hour. Um, so just come for that hour. We'll have an interviewer interviewing all of our speakers. Um, if you are local here in Utah, we want you to come. We'll have an ice cream bar. Um, so come. You'll get to meet the speakers one-on-one, -on -one and you'll also get some yummy ice cream. We may also have special prizes for those in-house. Um, and we will be doing some giveaways online as well. So make sure you have your calendar marked for that. July 27th, we also have an event um, on Facebook for that, so you can RSVP to it, and it, then it'll send you a reminder as well. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much Thank for joining for us. Coming. Let us know what you're thinking.